people who make a living in the bullshit tv mountain settlements don't really know what to do after talking and railing about cancel culture a topic that failed to generate enough traction to make them some money they have jumped on to where is the biden press conference so what did the trump daily covid briefing press briefing give the country more details about the no detail needed hydroxychloroquine and the us kept scaling the covid peak faster than anyone else in the world sadly what choice do they have can they talk about the 1.9 trillion dollar covid relief package passed by the biden administration and how popular the bill is with republican voters they cannot come out and say that more than 60 to 75% of the people in the country support the bill and more and more republican voters are in favor of passing the bill rather than supporting their senators to block the bill they cannot talk about that can they rip the bill as wasteful expenditure hmm well when they have charts like this that will make their life inordinately difficult can you see the right half of the spending chart all that money goes straight into the hands of american workers and people without work 670 billion dollars is checks and unemployment benefits and 350 billion dollars to state and local governments that's 1 trillion and that is where it is going if anything gop can only find issues with the right half of this chart but the problem they have and the reason gop has avoided taking that route is because it will open up gop's last year spending to scrutiny by october 2020 the gop had signed off on 4 trillion dollar spending to tackle the covid crisis more than half of that amount nearly 2.3 trillion dollars went to businesses which included 651 billion as tax breaks 454 billion for the federal reserve and to take care of the stock markets and 670 billion went as paycheck protection without asking how the paycheck will be protected they know that they will be in a big soup if they try to hit the dems hard on their latest covid relief bill because it will backfire immediately and in a big fashion that's why the gop senators did a small hit and run on the bill talking about the smaller amounts that always go for senators pet projects in their state or congress uh, men and women it is of course a wrong thing to do stuffing in money for small projects into big bills but nancy pelosi would have never needed to use a bigger bill to cover the tracks of her spending for her district and neither would mitch mcconnell have needed a bigger bill to help horse racing in his state had the senate been not dysfunctional due to the filibuster they all know nothing will get passed unless it's a big problem they are addressing so the entire washington group takes cover and they stuff these small items into bigger bills okay i'm kind of digressing here the point is neither the gop nor their media caucus can take this bill to the people and make the case that it is wasteful spending mainly because of how the gop spent the money last year compared to how biden is spending now the way the dems have allocated the money shows the diametrically opposite directions both the parties are taking the gop continues to take its top down trickle down economics approach showering the businesses first and everything else next and the democrats have taken the exact opposite direction showering the people first and then going for the rest in my opinion the biden plan is a decent one i would have personally loved to see more money for the healthcare portion of the bill but it's still a decent plan nonetheless now that they have passed it they need to make sure that all the money that is being pumped into the economy reaches the right place and we don't want to see reports later this year how much money went unspent and how it got misused the gop media caucus has literally nothing to talk about and that is why they have jumped to the latest why no biden press conference topic they will keep hammering it possibly for some more time and i really hope biden does the usual ignore we all have had enough of this presidential press conference and how the media uses it to run multiple day commentary on it the white house must not allow any media house to dictate the terms of engagement the white house press briefing must be the only place for them to ask questions and get answers Biden should possibly come out and say thanks for the free of cost advice but no thanks i have better things to do than feed you just go get your work done white house don't need press conferences from the president so that some media house can make money for a couple of days if anything biden should start spending his time working on the infrastructure bill we all deserve some peed budget interviews and news clips to pass around thanks for watching if you like it please do subscribe